we have brought you to Madhusudan Kati, a small village in West Bengal. You can see for yourself how poor villagers are afflicted with arsenicosis caused by contamination of groundwater with arsenic. In late 70s, arsenic was found in the water of West Bengal. But finally, it was detected in 1982-83. Then the government started its endeavor how to purify the water and to supply to the people. Because of arsenic, they have many diseases. When villagers drink this arsenic-laced water, they suffer from stomach ailments, skin diseases, warts, tumors, and cancer. The problem is largely confined to the Ganga Brahmaputra Mekong River Basin. Bangladesh and West Bengal in India are the worst affected. In West Bengal, 42.7 million people in nine districts are at risk. There are so many patients in this area, arsenic related patients I have seen every day. Mostly gastritis and skin disease. Madhu Sudan Kati is also known as the arsenic belt of West Bengal. People have been drinking arsenic water and falling victim to various waterborne diseases. The government became of the high levels of arsenic in groundwater only in 1990. It was found that most of such tube wells in many places, not all the districts, but in many districts, were contaminated with high arsenic. And you know, if you drink arsenic contaminated water, initially you will get skin diseases. It's similar to skin disease like black pigmentation. But then if you continue to drink it for a longer period, sometimes you people drink it for five years, 10 years, then there is a chance that it, you will get cancer. Let us meet some local residents whose plight will move you. यहाँ का ट्यूबवेल का पानी देखिए ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा ट्यूबवेल में आर्सनिक है। ट्यूबवेल में गैस अंबोल तो लेके आ चाहिए ताज़ा पेट के प्रॉब्लम तो होते ही डॉक्टर के तो दिते ही हैं अंबोल का शेज़ जो नो तेरे तो माने लेके आ चाहिए बच्चा देर होते ही प्रॉब्लम पेट के प्रॉब्लम होते हैं खूब जब टेस्टिंग किया म्यूनिसिपैलिटी तो जरा से जरा ट्यूबवेल था उसमें आर्सेनिक मिला। Although doctors and scientists, based on their research, have warned that food products too would get contaminated if we use this water for irrigation, nobody paid heed, and what happened is exactly what was feared. The locals were forced to consume this water because their economic situation didn't allow them to purchase bottled water at the rate of 15 to 20 rupees per litre. In 2014, when Dr. Bindeshwar Patak, founder of Sulab Swachta Abhyan, learned of the problem, he along with the team Madhu Sudan Kati, an expert team of Sulab International, then contacted a French NGO, 1001 Fountains, which is known the world over for its efforts in providing clean potable water for the poor in rural areas. In the meanwhile, we got contact uh, with a French company, uh, 1001, and uh, we decided why not we should try to purify water from the ponds, uh, the rivers, and also the wells. And it was agreed that on a pilot basis, we should uh, do some plans. And uh, we have done, and we have become successful. Sulab Safe Drinking Water Project was set up in 2014 on Dr. Patak's initiative, and the caravan is still chucking along. The Sulab water system is easy to install and is a low-cost water technology. The first such plant was set up Madhu Sudan Kati, where pond water was converted into potable water. The process involves pumping the pond water into a 5,000 litre capacity tank, where it is treated with alum and allowed to stay for 12 hours to allow sedimentation. It is then transferred to another tank for sand filtration. 
This water is then passed through various membranes to eliminate the smallest of particles from going through. The first membrane is usually of 16 microns, with subsequent membranes of 10, 5 and 1 micron. In the end, the water is passed through ultraviolet rays to kill microbes that might have survived the filtration process. The Sulub water system produces 4,000 litres of clean water every day. The filtered water is then poured into 20-litre bottles and packed for delivery. Water samples are periodically sent to IIT for testing and quality monitoring. This water was also tested by a reputed laboratory in the US, which has certified it to be completely safe for human consumption. The management and maintenance of Sulap water system is done by local women, which is in keeping with Dr. Patak's vision of women empowerment. Sulap water is delivered at your doorstep, priced at just 50 paise per litre. The most important part of the story is that patients of arsenicosis are getting cured since they are consuming only clean solar water. Pani pine se bahut sahi hai matlab dikkat nahi ho rahi hai. Chapakal ka pani pine se bahut dikkat hoti thi. Sulab idhar chalu hai. Mudan kadi samavay samiti se wo pani main 7 mahina pi raha hu. Pine ke baad abhi mera koi dysentery, koi loose motion कोई पेट का गड़बड़ी, कोई एसिडिटी, कोई गैस नहीं होता। Sulab's water efficacy was proved once again in June this year when Mirzapur village of Madinipur district saw an upsurge of diarrhea cases in June this year, but the patients were cured within two days after being administered Sulab water. That in Madinipur, 50 people were suffering from uh, diarrhea. And doctors tried to cure them, but they could not. So doctors suggested, why not supply them safe water? And we, when we gave this water from the wells after treatment, all became cured in two days. After the roaring success of the Sulab water Madhu Sudan Kati, another plant has been set up in Murshidabad district with one more plant for Mayapur village in Nadia district, where there is heavy public demand. Dr. Bartok says each of these plant costs rupees 20 lakhs. 60% of the project cost is borne by 1,001 fountains, while the balance is arranged by Sulab in collaboration with its local partner. The Sulab water plant can be connected to a well or a pond or even a river. It's a unique initiative which is in great demand in the country. Dr. Patak wants this project to be adopted by states like Bihar and Uttar Pradesh and wants to link it with banks and rural financial institutions. So we want to extend this throughout the country, but certainly the government has to come forward and the government has to give directives to the banks who can give loans to the young youths and they can take money, treat water, supply to the people, get rid of arsenic, and good opportunity for the youth to have employment. He hopes that big corporate groups will include it as a part of their CSR activities in order to bring about a revolutionary change among the rural masses. As the father of the sanitation revolution in India, Dr. Bhatak's water revolution is bound to change the health and face of rural India. हमारी वीडियोस को देखने के बाद लाइक और चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना बिल्कुल ना भूलें